Up here, guys. You want to pull them apart? <laughs> okay, we are at the Mongolian barbecue place where you just go up and like have them cook, you know, cook it on the big grill in the middle. No, you can. He was fine. I think. Oh yeah. I think. I don't know. So yeah. Yeah. She might have just. How would he eat if he didn't come home? Unless they should have brought a kitty bowl, but either way. So anyway, bunch of vegan stuff here, and it's like Kung Pao sauce, which is vegetarian, hopefully it's vegan too, but um, I got some tortillas you might eat with it, and it's so good. Potatoes, and really basic green beans, and really basic stuff, and it was awesome. It was like, sometime when you were gone though, she was just like, I'm going to be lazy. <laughs> it was awesome though. I loved it. Yep. my empty table that I'm eating all by myself. So my family left me, they couldn't wait for me to have my third bowl. And Josh, this is for you. Ha ha ha. I'll even show you when I'm done. <laughs> all vegetarian, vegan veggies. This one's way more um, noodles in relation to veggies because I was just eating so many veggies that I couldn't, I was never going to get full. I had to bring up the ratio a little bit. Had to record the last couple bites for Josh. Oh, hey guys. Sorry about the light here. Um... It's a couple days before Thanksgiving. I um, have not been doing good about um, recording my food at all, but I'm mainly eating dates and OJ and Halos, my usual stuff. Um, random things here and there. I started the week off some grapefruit and pomegranates and doing pretty well, feeling pretty good, feeling really lean, you know, despite the scale kind of being in the same place for a while, and that's okay. I'm feeling absolutely amazing, so I really could care less. I don't feel like I have that. You know, I, I, can, I can still, like, suck in a little bit. I know I could lose a little bit on that lower belly area, but, um, I feel, I feel so much better than I used to and so much slimmer. So, anyway, what I wanted to talk to you guys about right now is we, I just had a little funny kind of anecdote to share. Um, we went to, oh, we went to, sure, just, just land me rock. Nice. We went to the, this, um, like a Mongolian barbecue place. If you're not familiar with what that is, it's like, like, sort of a Chinese joint but they cook the food for you on a big open grill and you kind of choose your own food and you bring it over and you know just give them the bowl and they dump it all in there and fry it up for you so it's great i love the place um, but it's kind of expensive so we don't go there very often so when we do go there we're like there to eat you know and my dad has always trained us to go to buffets and like get your money's worth he's a pretty frugal dude and that's where i get some of my frugalities from <laughs> but it was just so funny because you know, we were there with a little bit bigger of a group. It was my my family, my sister, and my kids, and my mom and my dad, and her two kids as well. So we go and, you know, taking forever for everybody to eat. And, you know, everybody's had about a couple plates. And they're almost, they're done. And the babies was getting tired, and so they had to go back. And so everybody kind of wanted to go. And I said, well, you know, I totally, I'm not even full. Like, I'm going to keep eating. And we'd come in separate cars. And uh, so it was fine, you know, for me to stay and continue eating. But then my boys decided they were going to go stay the night with the grandma. <laughs> So I was like, okay, well, nobody's going to stay here with me. So <laughs> here I am sitting at the restaurant all by myself. Like, <laughs> they actually bust my stuff away. <laughs> they took my drink away. I was like, wait, no, I'm not done. <laughs> so I had three whole humongous plates of Mongolian barbecue. It was absolutely amazing. I put in the pad thai sauce because it's vegetarian. Didn't have a chance to look up all the sauces if they're vegan or not. But it says um, vegetarian on the pad thai sauce. And I'll add, like, a little bit of cayenne, a little bit of spice, peanuts, and um, usually some like sesame seeds too, and 
um, lots of cilantro. And anyway, my sister told me afterwards, well, it's going to cut out on me. Hold on, I don't want to tell the story, and then it cuts right out on me. So I was just sitting here thinking of how funny it was because afterwards, my sister was kind of like, didn't believe that I was going to go back for another plate. I heard her saying to herself, she was, um, you know, she was okay with the fact that she was letting herself have two plates because she ran earlier. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm just letting in whatever I'm eating, you know? <laughs> so then she says later, oh my gosh, you're going to get another plate. Are you kidding? She said, you, um, you're not even going to be able to eat till Thanksgiving. And I was like, I was just like, I know she's joking, obviously, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, take her word for word, but it's just funny because I just thought of my response to that, you know, would be, uh, no, sorry, meat doesn't sit in your stomach for, you know, five, six, seven, up to 12 hours, you know, and sit there and take all that long to digest. So technically, no, this meal won't be, you know, and I just wanted to say it so snarky. I didn't think of this, of course, you know, before, and I probably wouldn't have even said it if I did. I just found that I wanted to share it with you guys because it's so true, you know. I don't need to wait till Thanksgiving, you know, I mean, it's Tuesday night, so it'd be like <laughs> a while, but you know, you get her point, and the reason why she feels that way is because it's true, All that meat sits in your system, and then it, or it sits in your stomach, and then it goes on, it takes days and days to get out at the end, so it's really crazy, I don't know why people would want to do that, <laughs> especially at a buffet. I'm going to show you my lovely little smoothie here. And um, these are dates. I have five dates in here with some water. It looks like about three. All right, it's, it happens quite a bit. Ah, you love rabbits. Where is it? Quite a bit. Oh my god! Oh, he just ran into the ceiling. <laughs> oh this god. is exciting. <laughs> is that his? It's right there. There you go, Birdie. It's okay. I know. Up there. Way to go, Jason. <laughs> oh, welcome home. <laughs> Let's so, keep it as a pet. No. The food is out there. What day is it? Uh, Thursday. Thursday what day? Thanksgiving Day. Do you always cook without a shirt on? Yeah. <laughs> Mine is this green bean casserole. All right. I made it myself. He made it all by himself. Is there any disgusting animal products in there? No, but I think this might not be vegan. Is it? Let me see. Better be. Yeah, it's, it's it, Oh, it is made on the same um on the same equipment as products containing milk, but it is vegan. Okay. So, yep. Well, yeah, basically what's on it is the where did I put the can? You, Josh has one. Josh okay. has a can of it. Josh, maybe that can. I put basically it said to put, it said to get five pounds of, eight pounds of green beans, which I only did like three pounds, but. <laughs> but we're using the same amount of French fried onions as it says for 54 servings for not even half. <laughs> and then the cream mushroom soup, we use this and mushrooms and stuff. Yes. And then the quart of milk, this counts as the milk. <laughs> Coconut milk, baby. Black pepper, we didn't really do it crushed back Black pepper? Oh no, it doesn't say crush. It just says black pepper. Well, usually, did you just put it in their hole? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Look how many there are on here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, your, your dad used to eat those by the I case. I like And then um, this. And since there's like the cream and green beans, afterwards you bake it for an hour. And then you add the rest of it on. I don't think we need that many. I think you better just go easy on it because it's way too much. You can save these for later and eat them like chips. Like... That's fine. So we're also, okay, so we have a blueberry pie over here as well. And again, this is just a different kind of pastry dough that I had bought. I actually bought it from Amazon this time. It was pretty cheap. Where do I put this? In here. All the spices go together in here. You're going to mix everything together. You're going to mix the coconut milk in there and anything else that it says. <coughs> and then you pour it in there. That's how you do it. So I'm also going to try to do like a turkey tray. Um, of course, it's going to be a fruit turkey. No, it's going to be a tofu turkey. Mm, no, I'm not making tofu right now. We'll have that later. So I'm going to put some brown sugar on the blueberries. That's very simple. I think we may put the pie crust on top and try to go that little route. The squares. Just taking, yeah, the, yeah, do the little star thing. Poke it in there. So I'm going to put this down and go ahead and get busy. I still have to take a shower and we're supposed to be there by noon. So we'll see how, we'll see how we do here. Okay. 
So, um, I forgot to tell you about my, we're doing, this is the only thing my family really knows we're bringing at this point, I think, is um, roast vegetables. So we have just Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, um, keeping them nice and big and whole so they don't get too burned, and a whole pack of baby carrot. And we've got these in two different ones so they're not so crowded. And I'm not putting anything in here at all. Um, no butter, no fake butter, no nothing. They, I've done this before. They roast up just fine. I'm actually also going to throw some cauliflower in there. I almost forgot about that. Rocky, get out of here. And then what am I doing? Then I'm going to do sweet potatoes. And instead of doing sweet potatoes, I'm doing this lazy way. And I already have like a million cans of pumpkins. So I'm like, why don't I just, you know, not have to buy more stuff? It's the same thing, basically. So I'm going to do basically just a very simple, you know, pumpkin... Um, and pecans and brown sugar and kind of make that into a little sweet potato casserole sort of thing. So what I'm doing next is potatoes. I've kind of gotten sidetracked somehow with my sweet potatoes and I'm just gonna actually it says for these mashed potatoes it says that and I'm doing three boxes of these because I'm getting so hungry. <laughs> um, uh, two tablespoons buttery spread margarine or olive oil instead of busting out the coconut oil that I use for my skin I am actually opting to actually just add two tablespoons of pumpkin and I know you can do this um, pretty much for any oil you know you can always substitute applesauce zucchini um, bananas no. or pumpkin or basically anything of the sort so for oh. sort of each of these three so three times two is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One to grow on. Just make it extra. That is very extra good. Okay. That's okay. I had to patch it. Bring it to. Okay, so boy, saw it. <laughs> That's funny. Caleb Joe was given Guinness pie at like two months old, a little taste of it. And he didn't even have sugar till he was two, and he didn't have animal, he didn't have cow's milk till he was probably three. It's probably why, actually, you're intolerant to it, and you're okay with it, because you didn't have it too early, Caleb Joe. Yes! And you didn't have a lot of things too early. Like, I was able to keep you on a really short leash, but by the time you were already eating stuff, well, by the time then Josh, Josh came around and was like, oh, you know, you were already eating stuff, so Josh got to eat stuff a lot earlier. Now, where are my pecans? These beautiful pecans, certified organic. Got these from Door to Door Organics, and they were like seven dollars for this small little six ounce dealy bopper. But they're gonna be good, right on top. That's gonna be my topping. I didn't get any marshmallows, but I don't really care. I was gonna get some vegan ones, but Door to Door Organics stuff, and I never made it to the store. Very badly. And I love it because you're making this for me. This is like a present, you know. Is. Yeah, it's another present. Christmas present early. Yeah, early Christmas. <gasps> we can't forget the gifts. When I'm in the shower, you guys have to do the gifts. Is it pretty? Is it pretty? I think it's pretty. I think it's edible. It's a lot of nuts, though. You do have it all over, though. Little Caesar's worker. You can make pizza out of that, too, easily. We can make pizza. Or is it getting bigger? <laughs> Good thing I mopped the floor yesterday. Yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> um, I know I look kind of silly right now. I'm like in the middle of getting dressed, but I really just wanted to share some time with you guys today. I told you I was going to check in with you all holiday season long, and I'm not joking. Um, got this dress from a friend. I really like it. I think I'm going to wear it with some leggings it was like 27 degrees a couple hours ago so i'm not sure exactly how cold it is i could put a cardigan over this i gotta get it zipped up um somehow it's kind of tricky anyways i just wanted to um you know let you guys know how great i feel this thanksgiving i feel this is like the most i've ever cooked well i cooked one time this is not my headband i'm not wearing this by the way i'm just like doing my face and makeup and stuff so um and now i don't have any makeup on yet just in case you were wondering. 
So um, I, we just cooked a bunch, you know, as you probably just saw, and everything is going really well. I actually dropped a couple of pounds in the past couple days, so I feel really great about that. I was just taking some body shots. Probably. Let me throw those in here too. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Um, but I just feel better than ever, you know, and yeah, I had a couple beers last night. <gasps> I think I had like two or three, you know, with my man, came over to watch movies, so I get to cuddle this morning, that's a great way to start out Thanksgiving, Aww. and so I'm really excited to go see my nieces and nephews and my sisters, and have a great day, and I tell you, I am ready to eat, I am ready, <laughs> so um, I'll show you guys my plate and everything, and uh show you the food probably as we're taking it out. I just think that there's definitely a correlation between my diet and even my kids' diet and how great they're acting and how great we feel, how easily everything just, um, I mean, compared to other Thanksgivings. And I remember getting ready for different events sometimes can be very stressful with the boys. And yeah, some of it is they're getting older and that's, this is a great age, you know, for that sort of thing. But they're getting more and more responsible, so it's really nice. But all around, I'm just so happy, and I really just wish that all of you, hope that all of you are having the best day as well. Just Okay, guys, I think I'm ready. I don't, I might add a little bit more blush. Yeah, okay, so here's the fans over here. Kind of doing their thing. The boys are back there. Lovely. Charlie! Hi! Mwah. He's still warming up to me. So I'm just about to get my plate here to get sourdough bread here. Here is my <laughs> sweet potato alternative. It was so easy. It was incredible. I cheated a lot. Yeah, there's some potatoes. Should have made some gravy. I didn't think about that. Caleb Joe made that. Yay! I'm surprised Caleb Joe hasn't bragged about it yet. What did I say about the rolls? I can't even remember. The P-I-E. Okay. Here is the crazy french fried onion. Caleb like dumped all the french fried onions on my plate. See you right, Grace? Okay. What? So far? I don't think I showed my vegetables. Go in there. Go in there. Go in that fork. Cup of sugar, cranberries. Thank water. you. I love you. <laughs> Aww. That's the one thing I miss. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, pass it over. Where is it? <laughs> and cranberries. Woo! Uh -oh. That makes my meal. For real. Just because we can do it more gourmet and it's like, I could eat it every day. Yeah, especially for what you're eating. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Hey guys. So, sorry, I'm like bending down here, um, and I have a huge mess, still just getting to the first cleanup after Thanksgiving. It is Friday morning, actually no, it's 12.01, it's Friday afternoon, and just got back home. I'm about to eat some more uh, leftovers here, real serving of green bean casserole, doesn't look great, and um, what I'm going to do with the leftovers here, I just kind of wanted to show you. Um, this kind of came out of the pan in a nice little chunk. It's been pretty cold in the pan. So I figured what I would do, and it's so funny. I had this stuff all in my trunk for the past, oh, I mean, since Thanksgiving. I put it in my trunk. And, you know, the temperature is getting warmer in the daytime. It's like maybe 40s or so in here in Kansas City. And so I, I love that I was able to just put this stuff in my trunk. I went to the movies. I went to see my boyfriend. I don't have to worry about this food going bad in my trunk because it's sitting out for two hours because there's no milk, there's no meat. I know that it's perfectly fine at, a, at this temperature. So um, yeah, probably still have like makeup all over my face. I just basically woke up and got gas and oil. I'm very, very thankful for my friends today, my loved ones helping me out, my family. Just the whole weekend has, or the whole week has been really great and today, you know, uh, shout out to Jenny and Nick. I doubt they'd ever even watch these. Well, maybe Jenny, maybe. Mwah. Love you guys. You are lifesavers, and you take care of me. <laughs> so anyway, Thanksgiving is great. And what I'm gonna do with this is just put it. I'm just gonna kind of layer it 
because I always love to kind of mix these two together anyway. So I have this great big Tupperware and I only have a few pieces of Tupperware, plastic Tupperware because, sorry guys, I like, I have this little stand thing that I'm hold, that I'm using. And I don't really know if it matters. I really just want to show you the food, but okay, there we go. All right, so I don't know if I'll get a lot of layers on this, but it's gonna be good that it all mesh together. So I'm just gonna pop this out of here. And so that way I don't have to dirty up. I have another temper. I probably have to put the sweet potatoes in it or something. Maybe. Unless I just want to warm them up and heat them straight out of the pan. I would do that with a smaller pan, but this pan's too bulky to put in the fridge. So, okay, there is my green bean casserole leftovers. We'll see how long this lasts, okay? Because I just loved, I honestly loved being able to eat and eat and eat and eat and eat on Thanksgiving. I loved the fact that I wasn't overly full. I was hitting back. I didn't want to, I didn't feel like my pie yet, but after I ate, um, and I had the plate that you saw, I ate every bite of it. And then maybe just a little bit more cranberry sauce on the side as we were sitting down for the meal. And so about an hour or so after the meal, I started like getting kind of hungry again. So I actually had a, like those little dessert paper plates. You know, I had one of those basically filled with mashed potatoes and green beans. I was like munching on some green beans as I was putting everything away. And you know, my family, it's funny because my little sister was always the one that was the slowest eater. And so I've always been like, okay, ever since I got pregnant, I was always the slowest eater and Margaret it was like kind of far away. So I was like the, the secondary slow eater. And I'm like, you guys, I totally have like got this now. This is my title, I stole it. Cause I just sit there. I'm always the last one done, always. Even if my sister's there that used to have the reigning title. Nope, it's me cause I eat so much. Um, and I have, when I was pregnant, you know, I ate a lot too. I didn't gain a lot of weight, but um, I ate and ate and ate and ate and I've always loved fruits and vegetables. So, you know, I had a had a fruit tattoo before I even went for Delorean for Granella. So, yeah. I'm gonna get the rest of this stuff out. Um, this, I'll probably just keep it as it is. It's just the veggies. And um, I think I might save that for like just a single meal, like do kind of almost mono meal. I just don't wanna mix too many things right now. Oh, and bread. The sourdough was a huge hit. But anyways, as I was saying, I just love to be able to sit there and eat and eat and eat. And afterwards, I don't even feel bad. And I can tell that everybody's really tired and groggy. I could have sworn I had a spoon that I was using. That's right here, okay. <laughs> Absent-minded, but it just, I mean, that's the way it should be my dad's. Where? I don't even know where you put it. And it's like, well, it doesn't get stored because it's not fat. But, and I love it also, I have to tell you this, um, my mom, she kind of has been basically the only person in my life who's kind of been, I don't even want to say riding me because it's not that much, but kind of riding me a little bit about the protein. Oh, you know, over the past few weeks. And so I just had to totally turn it around on her today. I hope she takes it to heart. She's back on Weight Watchers and, you know, trying to, I eat, we, we averaged it out. And it's like, she's, she's supposed to be eating like 1500 calories a day. I'm like, how do you even do that? And then, so we averaged it out with her extra points. If you average it out, you're supposed to get about 1800 calories a day on Weight Watchers. And I was just like, still, I mean, I remember trying to stick to that. Even that, I mean, I would have a hard time. My average, I think if I let myself eat kind of as much as I wanted, not like, like I do on this diet, obviously, but back in the day when I kind of just let myself go a little bit, I would just always eat, stick to around 2,300 calories. That was a very comfortable, you know, number that just sort of came up for me, you know, back then. And even trying to stick to 1,800 calories would stress me out and it would make me eat more, you know, to where I might even go to a 3,000 calorie day just out of stress. So I was just asking her and I, and I also wanted to bring up the fact like she was talking about protein like how she can barely get enough protein and I said well how do you how do you get enough anything I mean how do you get enough fiber if you get enough protein on that diet like it's going to be impossible to get both of those on 1500 calories or you know 1800 calories and I just I just um you know I'm glad that I know enough to be able to turn it around on her not um you know in an egotistical way obviously oh my goodness but um you know I it's, it's true, and she needs to see it. She, people like that need to wake up, and they're worried about, oh, our vegans getting enough protein, but they're trying to restrict their calories so much that they're not gonna be getting enough fiber, enough vitamin C, enough of a lot of different things, especially if you're worried about protein or if you're worried about getting enough animal fats like the Weston A. Price people do. So that's just my little rant for the day, and I'm gonna warm this up, and chow down.
Yes, I still use the microwave. I don't use it very often. I use it for popcorn because I cheated and I got a big, big, big box of popcorn. So we've been eating it more lately. But, you know, from what I understand, it doesn't take out all of the, the nutrition. I was reading an article one time talking about, and I think it was one of the vegan doctors, I'm not sure, talking about if you, if you're sitting there with raw broccoli or whatever food, you know, and you have some, if you're going to nuke it, if that's all you had, you know, and you were going to nuke it and, you know, well, which one's better? Well, it does take out some of the nutrition, the microwave does, but if you're sitting there with raw broccoli and you're not going to eat it and you'll eat more after it's been steamed in the microwave, then hello, you are going to get more benefit by going ahead and steaming the food, even though, you know, and obviously that's the nutritional side. There's still a whole electromagnetic frequency you know, which I definitely try to not stand. This is about as close as I get to my microwave. And I'm like two feet. I would rather be like three feet because I really feel like I can feel it. I'm not one that's going to like stick my head in the in the microwave and peek on it. In fact, I'm going to move over here a little bit for the next few seconds. And I guess I can go ahead and talk to you guys later. I'll maybe eat my Thanksgiving dinner in front of you again. So, take care guys. Eat your fruit. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey guys, it's me. I'm here in the kitchen, obviously. It's um, Friday afternoon, about to go to the theater with my familia. So I'm making some dinner for myself here. I had, um, I think I showed you what I had earlier. I had uh, some bread for breakfast in the car. I just had some couple pieces of bread. And this uh, didn't even count it. Let's see. How many dates is that? 18 or so? So this is probably the biggest date smoothie Oh my gosh, my house is such a mess. It's probably the biggest date smoothie that I've ever had. And of course, I'm low on water, so I'm filling it up right now. Kitty cat's interested, of course. Let's see how much water, how much good, pure, fluoride free water I can get out of this. Oh, what is it, Rocky? What is it? And I know it kind of expands. I've watched freely enough to know that it actually gets bigger because it gets so frothy um, since the, jeez, no room, since everything's like, since they're dehydrated and whatnot. Okay, don't forget the lid here. All right, I gotta plug it in first though. Okay, so I just want to show you guys here. This is it, this is the beauty, big data raid, so. I'm obviously not going to drink this all at once, so I'm going to sip it on the way out. So I have something to drink, you know, on the way here, a little snack. And then okay, so very quickly, in eight seconds, I can tell you this is my leftovers. Again, second bowl. Hey guys, I'm here in my boyfriend's garage. I want to show you uh, what I've been doing, actually. Woke up and for breakfast... After my water, I had two of these. The other, the other plastics right down there. I shared a few with Nick, but the raspberries ate those. And then I was really, really pleased. I had a Daterade in my car. And it's been in and out of the fridge, but mostly out. It's like, it's pretty nice out there. It's like 60, eh, 50s, maybe 50s or so. You know, and uh, it, it didn't go bad. It wasn't refrigerated. I just shook it up and just finished the rest of my date raid that I had yesterday that I brought to the play. So this, for this reason alone, I think date raid has just a, made a very special place in my heart because there's really no other smoothie that I know of that you can just do that with. And I'm sorry, I've had banana smoothies that I didn't eat, you know, in time. And even with shaking them up, they're just not very good. But with the date raid, you can keep it normal temperature and it'll be fine so don't be afraid to take it I mean I could taste a, a very slight difference and that's it so $1.99 and it's only got four grant four percent fat yay and it's vegan Pretty good, it's got like tofu in it, and noodles, and good stuff. 
peanut plum sauce. Yum. Looks kind of gross, actually. Oh, dang. The night to come here, I guess. Damn, happy Thanksgiving number three or something. I got just veggies. I did not get sofritas. They put a shit ton of guacamole on there, but I don't care. Veggies, lots of veggies. Black beans, yum. You can't see it from the outside. Sneak peek. You see how big this thing is? I don't think I can even show you how big it is. It's huge. Okay, so I just wanted to say hi. I'm finally going home. Get all my food over here. So, check in the flip side. Okay, so this is just the leftover lettuce that I had um, kind of the whole weekend. Um, the half of the sprouts, the Brocco sprouts that I didn't eat already. And then this is just basically like the insides of my... Um, leftover chipotle burrito i did not eat it all yet last night we were kind of in a hurry and so we went home i wrapped it up and then didn't even eat it until i, I nibbled on it earlier today but uh if i had oh i think i'm gonna add a tomato okay so here is the finished product and uh multitask here um Come on, light. Okay. This way we can see. Just want to give you a little peek to what this baby's gonna really look like. So we got some like green peppers in there, lots of like some avocado and some there's some onions and basically tomato really and like cilantro. So I'll try to get that. Oh yeah, this is gonna be really good. It's like full broccoli sprouts. Mm, yeah.